Welcome everyone. Earlier on the channel, I did a fix for BitLocker drive encryption is enabled. When you try to run reagent slash enable command, I'll link to it at the top here. However, when I ran the command again, after fixing that BitLocker drive encryption issue, I ran into this stupid error message. The operation failed B7 error message. So I'll show you guys in this video how to fix this. It takes about maybe a minute or two. So let me show you guys exactly how to go about fixing it. Let me tell you why you need to do this and how you get to this point. So when you're trying to do a reset of your computer, a factory reset, you get into this problem where it says could not find the recovery environment. So I've done a few videos on that on my channel and the viewers have complained about these few error messages about one was the BitLocker encryption error message that I've done a video already about. This video is about the B7 error message that some viewers have also run into. So to fix that, let me show you guys what you need to do. So the first thing you need to make sure is that you have the new version of winre.wim file that you fetch from the Windows ISO that I've shown you guys how to do in my previous videos and make sure that it is actually sitting in the C Windows System32 recovery folder. Uh, you don't have to worry about the reagent XML file. Uh, you can delete it if you want to because every time you run the command reagent slash enable, it will actually create a new file. So don't worry about this file. You can make a backup of it if you want from original Windows, but you don't have to, to be honest. Once you have made sure that the winre.wm file exists, launch your command prompt as an administrator and just run this command. So this is the command that you need to run. Uh, make sure that the winre file, the winre.wm file is actually under C Windows System 32 recovery folder because you're going to set the path to where the image file is. Because what happens is that Windows can't for some reason find where the heck the file is and what to use for the path. So you need to just make sure that it is actually sitting in the C Windows System 32 recovery folder. Um, here's the thing, uh, just, just a heads up though guys, I kept trying it over and over, I, although I had uh, given the command, um, like I set the path, then I ran the command enable again, I got the b7r message, I tried disabling it, it was already disabled as you can see here, I tried enabling again, again same error message, I was like what the heck's going on, so here's the thing, uh, what I did was just delete the xml file, uh, recreated it, um, so when you do the enable command it recreates it, ran the enable command and what happens is actually that it takes a while for the winre image file to be copied over. So that is all it was doing was just copying it over. You'll see here that the file will disappear in a second here. There you go. It's gone, right? That winre.wm file just disappeared. That is all that was happening was it was copying it in the background and it just takes a little while. So that's all you need to do is to fix it. So that's the command that you need to run and then just run the reagent slash enable and wait patiently. So now once you have done that, you can actually do the reset. So let me show you guys how it looked for me and did it work for me or not. So uh, again, go to your system recovery and then click the reset button. I decided to uh, use the cloud install or cloud download, which is local. So you can do either or. Um, so pick one. I changed some settings. I decided to clean the data. Uh, you can pick and choose what you want if you want to keep your data like your files like my documents and whatnot all it does is just uh, reinstall and then you don't lose the folders and files basically if you don't do the clean install or clean uh, clean data option you can choose to download the windows if you want and you can once you've done that chosen what you want to do hit confirm and it will do its thing and then it will reset the uh, your computer. I did run into uh, an issue though so I will talk about that in a separate video. Uh, the reset didn't work for me. This is an OEM machine for some reason the reset did not work for me so I had to do a factory reinstall but I didn't actually have to do a USB method. I just did an in-house install or like uh, through an ISO image. So I'll show you guys in that video how to go about doing a fresh install without actually having to use a USB key or any fancy methods like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please do the like button. Please do subscribe. Much appreciated. All right, guys. Take care. Thanks a lot.